This is one pot creamy garlic Cajun chicken pasta. It is super easy to make and tastes absolutely incredible. The prep for this is extremely easy as well. For this, we need to dice up one whole brown or yellow onion, make thin slices across, slice it in half horizontally and dice into fine pieces, saving any scraps for stock. Of course, if you know me, I love garlic and love using it in these types of recipes. We're gonna run five cloves along a microplane or fine box grater just to create a paste, making sure to scrape it all out to avoid any waste. This is completely optional, but this right here is five grams of flat leaf parsley. It can just be given a quick rough chop to break it down and you really don't have to use this. It just adds a nice pop of freshness and color. Next, we're gonna swap out our chopping board to something we dedicate to raw meat or raw chicken. This right here is 600 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thigh, and this can just be sliced into nice thin strips or thick strips, depending on how you like it. You can leave it whole as well, and you can also dice this, which is what I'm doing in this recipe. Let's then add this to a large mixing bowl and follow this up with two and a half grams of both onion and garlic powder for nice concentrated flavors. One gram of both dried oregano and thyme for a minty freshness and pop of herbaceous flavor. Seven and a half grams of smoked paprika for peppery notes and great color. One and a half grams of chili powder, which is optional to add a little kick. A little bit of olive oil, which is about five milliliters worth just to get this all lubed up. Sea salt flakes to taste and cracked black pepper. 10 cracks worth. Now you can mix this up with a spoon, tongs, or whatever you have, but I like to use my clean hands because you can always get in there nice and deep like, making sure everything is fully coated. Also, all of the herbs and spices that I'm using are from centuries ahead, and I have a link in the description if you're interested. As for getting this cooking, place a large high-rimmed pan or pot over medium-high heat, add in 30 milliliters of olive oil and once hot, add in the chicken thighs and then spread this out so it's all sitting flat. Mix it around regularly and cook for three minutes, making sure that the spices don't burn, but the chicken gets nicely browned off. Now once that's done, add in the diced brown or yellow onion, as well as the minced garlic. Then we're going to fry this off for about three minutes, mixing it around regularly, just until the onions slightly become translucent and that garlic starts to infuse its flavor into the chicken. Next is to deglaze the pan with 650 milliliters of chicken stock, which is also the liquid that'll cook our pasta. One can of crushed, diced, or even whole tomatoes, but if you do use whole tomatoes, you will need to break them down, and 180 milliliters of thickened cream. I'm also going to hit this up with 20 cracks worth of black pepper. You can also check it for salt if you wish to, but there should be enough seasoning from the chicken. With that all in, give this all a really good mix for those flavors to become friends to create that beautiful looking sauce. We're then going to bring this all to a boil and we're going to add in 400 grams of any pasta of your choice. I'm using penne as it's a great vessel to hold a sauce like this, but then we're going to bring this to a boil, reduce it down to medium and cook for about 15 minutes just until that pasta is beautifully al dente. Now this has been 15 minutes, the pasta still does have a nice bite onto it, but obviously it's cooked through. We're then going to add in the flat leaf parsley, of course, if you're using it to add that nice pop of freshness and color. All we have to do now is just mix this through until everything is evenly combined, and you can now check it for seasoning one last time before we can then remove it from the stovetop. Make sure you don't drop your pasta into the bowl like I did here, but you can serve this however you want and as much as you want to. Serve it in bowls, plates, or whatever you're into, stacking it nice and high, and then grate over some parmesan cheese, and the amount is completely up to you. And I do think this deserves quite a bit. I'm also gonna hit this up with some more cracked black pepper, but once all of that's done, we are then left with this absolutely fantastic one pot creamy garlic Cajun chicken pasta. Like always, the only thing that's then left to do is we can make this all worthwhile, and we can then dig in. The combination of flavors in this is absolutely incredible. There's a little bit of kick from the chili. Of course, that is optional. You don't have to use it. But the herbs, the spices, all of it works really well together. And this is absolutely incredible. 